Welcome back to a new video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be going to pick up a Jonder 7R, and we have a bit of plans for it. First, let me go get the semi out. After I get the semi out, then we are going to start. I'm going to let it warm up for a bit. So. I'll let uh, that thing out for a bit, but for right now, we got this brand new trailer over here. It's it has extendables in the front right here. It can extend out to about 50 feet, 50 or 40 feet. I can't remember, uh, but yeah. Uh, we have to take the semi instead of the day. It should be warm up enough right now. So we have to take the semi all the day because what we're going to be getting is kind of a heavy load. So I'm going to attach up to the trailer right here. And I want to make sure the pin don't fall out like last video. Alright, so the pin for the That's cord. Alright, we're good to go. Thomas thing around the whole building. Oh, I got a douche is back up here. Well, I'm just going to drive out to the field real quick. get on out of here and then I'm going to take you to where the thing is. It's a John Deere 7R tractor. Yeah. John Deere 7R. We are going to be taking that thing. And I'll be right back whenever we get down there to the place. So I'm going to back up here to the house. Uh, I'm just going to get the tractor on my own. I didn't cut it off because I didn't want to do with the battery or anything. I also left it running out there. So I'm going to get this thing off here on my list. And I'm going to call one of my mechanic buddies down here so he can come and look at this. See what kind of stuff I got to do to it. I'm just going to leave that thing shut off right there. So, I'm going to go get the trailer put up. I'm just going to go put the trailer back up here. Uh, let's just get the trailer put up back there. Very simple and easy. Alright, so we're going to whip this thing around and then we're going to hook this thing up to the trailer. And I want to make sure I'm not screwed up from last video with the trailer. Um, Alright, so now let's just head down here to the house real quick, to that place where we pick up the parts, 
And I'll be right back whenever I'm down there and I'm getting some fixed up. Alright, so we are up here right now. I'm just waiting for them to get everything loaded up in the back of the truck. So, I'm just going to head in here and talk to the manager real quick. So, we'll see how much of the price will be for all these parts. And then I'll be right back. Alright, they got everything loaded up in the truck here now, so... I'm just gonna pull up here and just pull around. I don't know what just happened. Oh yeah, that's what I usually show you how you this shit. I don't know what this time for I am thinking about just getting one of those box delivery trucks. Alright, so we're gonna pull up to I'll be right back whenever we get up to the house here. Alright, so we're pulling up to the house right here. My mechanic buddy just called me. And uh, my he said he's up there at the house checking out the tractor. He said he found a leak in something. I don't know why I don't know. But there's just a ton of in here. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, there's a stroke. So. Alright, so I'm gonna get the parts on those here. I'm gonna get the parts and load it here. Uh, there's my phone now. Alright, so let's head over here and let's, I'm gonna talk to him and see what's going on with the truck here. Up here. I just got back from work. <coughs> I got the tractor done last night. It took me about three weeks, but we got it now. But I'm gonna call this thing a tractor. Tractor. <laughs> got front hydraulics. I'm calling it a tractor. Yeah, this is the tractor that, that I built in the last couple of months. This one full out here and I really don't like the sound of the street or anything like that, so. Uh, thanks you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.